So hey my YouTubers and everyone in the world, today is February the 3rd, the time is now 10.51 a.m. So it's going to be a beautiful Sunday all day guys, but moving forward, today we're going to be discussing a very important topic about ask, what different questions to ask your partner when they are feeling depressed, and this is going to be part one. Now, I did write down so many important questions that I felt like we needed to ask our partners when they are feeling depressed, so if you guys want to take a quick second to grab a pen and a paper that would be extremely helpful and um, I'm, got, I'm gonna give you guys a second to do that but if you are new to my channel guys make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so that you can see more of me Now, I know that we have all had moments where we feel depressed, and I feel like that's completely normal, especially especially when we have different things that's going on in our lives, stuff that we don't understand, things that people might have done to us that made us feel depressed. But um, you know what? I feel like these questions are very, very imperative to ask because, I mean, it just gets to the core of the problem. And I'm going to switch it up for the last. I, I um, separated into four different sections. So you guys will know. So the first one is figure out the impact of their symptoms. So we want to know what are the impacts of their symptoms. So question number one is you want to ask your partner, are you sleeping more or less than what you normally would? I feel like this is important to ask for a couple different reasons. Honestly speaking, guys, when we are depressed, there is a lack of sleep or we sleep more because we probably don't want to deal with the situation. So that's one thing you definitely want to ask your partner. Are you sleeping more or less than normal? Question number two is, are you eating more or less? And I've noticed this a lot with people. Um, when they are depressed, they tend to probably eat more because they're emotional eaters. So when they're going through something, instead of dealing with the situation, they'll probably sit down and have some ice cream or, you know, drink coffee or probably just eat something, even if they're not hungry. So that's another question you definitely want to ask your partner. Question number three for today is, are you capable of enjoying things right now? A lot of times when we are depressed, we don't want to enjoy anything in life because we're so focused on that negative situation that made us depressed and made us feel sad. And all that does is actually make us even more sad and more depressed because we're given that negative attention. Um, you know, we're given that situation, you know, too much attention, which is just negative intention in general. Okay, so question number four is, is it hard to personally groom yourself? A lot of times when people get depressed, they don't want to take a shower. They don't want to take a bath. They don't want to go get their hair cut. They're just so focused on the negative that it, it makes them shut their whole entire bodies down to the point where they don't want to do anything. So that's a question that you definitely want to ask your partner. And question number five is, are you having thoughts of your own death? I feel like when people get depressed, they have suicidal thoughts at times. And that is a problem. And that's something that you definitely want to ask your partner to know, you know, how are their minds thinking right now? Now, the second category is four things to help support and collaborate the situation. So question number one is, what helped the last time you were depressed? You definitely want to know what helped your partner the last time they got depressed like that. You know, what helped them to get through that moment? And this will give you an idea of what you can do. Question number two is, what's the best way for me to help you? So now we know that our partner is depressed, but now we're asking them, okay, I understand that this is what you're going through, but how can I help you? That's important for support. Question number four is, who can we call to help us get through this tough time? So now we, we, we have our partner thinking, okay, well, you can call my mom, you can call my dad, you can call my sister, my brother, or maybe they just need your support. Maybe they just need you to be there. But now you're asking them, okay, we know what the problem is, but let's figure out solutions to handle this situation. And easy question number four to help support and collaborate is what changes can we make to help us to get through this point in time? So now you're asking them to, like I said, once again, we're coming up with solutions to the problem. Okay, so 
Is it going to help us to take a walk outside? Is is that a change that you need? You know, fresh air, or do you want me to sit here and just listen to you talk and you know write some things down so I I'll know how to help you in the future? Or you know that's helping them, that's giving them the support that they need. So that was the second category. The third category is four questions to encourage self care. Remember, like I said before, guys, when people get depressed, they don't want to take shots. Hours, they don't want to take baths. They don't want to go get haircuts. So now this person is not taking care of themselves because they're so stuck on the negative. They're depressed. So question number one is you want to ask them, are you exercising on a daily basis? I feel like exercising does help us, you know, not only physically, but mentally, it just helps us to relieve some energy in a positive way. So if your partner is depressed, you want to ask them, are you, are you exercising on a daily basis so that you'll know how deep the depression is, or, you know, if they still exercising, then that's good. Question number two is where can you locate resources to help you? So if your partner's depression is to the point where, you know, you can't even help them, they need professional help. Now you want to ask them questions. Okay, so where can we go get professional help? Let's do our research so we'll know who we can call and what questions to ask and when we can schedule your first appointment. That's important, guys. That goes back to support. So number two is, I mean, number three for this one, for this category is, are you eating well? A lot of times when people do get depressed, either they overeat or they undereat. They don't want to eat anything. You understand? They're just like, you know what? I'm so depressed. I don't feel like eating anything. And if this is going on for, you know, day to day to day basis, that is a problem because not only are you not, you know, taking care of yourself and giving yourself the nutrition that it needs, but, you know, you can lose a lot of weight. And that's not healthy if you're just not eating for days at a time. Your body will shut down. So that's important to ask your partner. And number four for this category is going to be, are you drinking or using drugs to cope with this depression? I feel like that's important to ask because a lot of times when people are depressed and they feel like, you know, life is over, they start drinking uncontrollably, you know, and they become alcoholics. It start off with one shot or start off with just one bottle of something. And then it turns into an everyday thing. And um, if they're using drugs, that's also a problem because drugs are not going to help you, you know, to deal with these situations. It just helps for that moment. But once the high will wear down, you know, you're still you're still depressed. You still have the same problem. So you want to know if your partner is using drugs. That's important. So category number four is questions to avoid asking. Yes, I said it. These are questions you don't want to ask your partner. So make sure you guys are writing these down. The, the category is questions to avoid. So question number one is don't you feel lucky? If your partner is feeling depressed right now, the last thing they want you to do is say, oh, don't you feel lucky that this happened or that happened? I know that you're trying to help the situation, but asking that question is definitely the wrong question to ask at this point in time. Because obviously they don't feel lucky because they're feeling depressed and sad. Question number two in this category, <coughs> excuse me, is do you feel better now? If your partner is feeling depressed at that point in time, obviously they don't feel better about whatever it is that they're feeling depressed about. So avoid asking this question because it's not going to help the situation. Question number three in this category is what do you have to be depressed about? Now, you're not in their mind. So obviously, you know, you're trying to help them, but asking what do you have to be depressed about? That's not the right question to ask them. To, so try to avoid asking a question like that. And question number four, which I feel is very, very imperative, is what's the matter with you? If your partner is feeling depressed, you don't want to ask them what's the matter with you. Because what you're doing is you're giving them more of a reason to be depressed, to be upset, to be in their feelings. And that's going to actually make the situation worse. So I hope that all those questions we discussed today help you guys to clarify what's going on and you know, make sure you just help them, support them, and give them what they need at that point in time to help them make the, the situation better, 
Okay, so like I said before, I hope that you guys took time to write these questions down. And we're going to have a part two to this right here. But like I always say, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And of course, visit my website at shoploveronline.com. Until next time, guys, just be the help and the support that they need. Peace.